Okay, so hi everyone. We're now on our next video in the mathematics in the modern world. We're still in the batch of videos in tessellations, and we have reached a very special um topic here today. Um, this topic is going to be about fractals. Okay, and this is a very um um one of my favorite topics in in the course and also in the playlist. So let's get into it. So what are fractals? Uh, fractals are different from fractions. I just want to make it clear at first. Okay, so fractals are, um, they are mathematical constructs characterized by self-similarity. Okay, so one examine, examines finer and finer details of the object. Um, and the magnified area is like the original, but not identical to it. So it's like similar to the original. The word here is similar. It's similar to the original, but not identical to it. So as you go and zoom in and zoom in on a particular part of that object, you will see um, you will see similar shapes or images or, or imagery of the original object uh, on a zoomed out part. But when you zoom in and zoom in, you will see finer and finer details of it. Okay, in a similar um, or shape. So it is a geometric shape that has fractional dimension so um, uh, in a way it's called fractals because its dimension is a fraction remember when you say something like in the in the zeroth dimension so the zero dimension is like a point right so that's that's the that's the um, zero dimension so um first dimension is just a line okay that's the first dimension second dimension is a line a length with a width all right so that's the second dimension the third dimension let me write it down first dimension no dimension or shall we say zero dimension um when you say the third dimension it's like it's 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 the world that we're living in okay we are living in a three-dimensional um universe so three dimensions because um i cannot illustrate it properly we have a length we have a width and we have a height, sorry, um, a length, a width, width is somewhere here, and a height. So just just for instance, I cannot show it right to you right now, but imagine your hand, okay, or a book there, or some something you can get out, out of there uh, of your of your desk or your laptop or your cell phone. Even your cell phone is it's three-dimensional. You can see the length of a, a cell phone, you can see its height, and you can see its width, its thickness. Okay, the thickness the length and the width that's three dimensionals and we're living in a three-dimensional world everybody and um um that's where we are right now fractals on the other hand has this fractional dimension fractals live in uh between this first and second dimension okay or seldom this zero and first dimension okay but mostly it 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 uh, it lives here in the between the first and the second dimension it has a fractal dimension okay it has a fractional rather a fractional dimension so that's one particular um characteristic of fractals okay they tend to appear nearly the same okay or similar the word is similar nearly the same is like similar at different levels as you zoom in and zoom in uh on a particular uh, an object so fractals are about four things. It's about fractions, about functions, um, graphs, and imaginary numbers. Okay, it comes from the Latin adjective fractus, which means broken or fractured. Okay, because it's not whole, it has a fractional dimension. So fractal geometry is one interesting um, branch of geometry right now. Um, it's a discipline and uh, a discipline or a field popular popularized by Benoit Mandelbrot so this is um Benoit Mandelbrot he just died recently um as far as I can remember 2010 or maybe um later um it describes a set of curves many of which were rarely seen before the advent of computers so he used um Benoit Mandelbrot used this comp this used this advent or used this technology of computers in order for him to discover um, what we know now as fractals okay and there's a nice documentary about him um by nova sorry nova productions um you can see that in youtube and um the the the, the documentary is like very very much complete 
okay, if you want to go deeper with the history of fractal geometry and fractals. And Benoit Mandelbrot. It came from his set. He has a Mandelbrot set. We're going to see that in a while. So, um, anyways, let's, let, let, let us go back here. It then extended the concept of theoretical fractional dimensions to geometric patterns in nature. Okay, so we have already the, the, theor the theories of fractional dimensions, but this fractal geometry extended this into geometry or shapes. Okay, so um, fractals um, is more found, okay, more can be more seen in nature. Okay, one, um, two examples of these fractals are like this. Um, leaf here this fern leaf so you can see this image of this leaf here uh, if you're going to take one part of this um fern here you will see if you're going to zoom in on that part you can see that it's it's a uh, um what do you call this it's a repetition of the whole um picture of the whole fern okay and then if you're going to look deeper into one of the branches of that um, taken fern, so if you're going to zoom in, um, the, the image here is not so clear, but if you have a, a super HD camera, you're going to zoom, that, zoom in on that again, you will see a, a similar object, okay, only on a, a zoomed in um, basis. So these are fractals in nature. Also, you can see this broccoli. I forgot the, the proper name of this, but this is also a fractal. Um, we have some bulges in this um broccoli if you're going to zoom in in one of the bulge you can see um a replica of the of the of the um of the of the original object if you're going to zoom in further into one of its bulges of uh, say one of its hills or mountains you can see an, an even a uh, replica of of the original object and then so on if you continue to zoom in further so these are examples of fractals in nature and actually fractals are yeah, fractals are the shapes in nature. You know, you can see the the the, the images of the the clouds, and the oceans, and the mountains. They're not perfect shapes, but they are actually fractals. Okay, there, there's a saying um, of Mandelbrot about that. I forgot about it. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is the Mandelbrot set. This is what, um, uh, this is basically what 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 made Benoit Mandelbrot popular. Okay, so this is the Mandelbrot set. It looks like uh, pretty much a, a dull thing, but wait until you get um, zoomed in into a particular part of it. Okay, um, in the next slide, I will be letting you see a zoomed-in version of this very small part of the Mandelbrot set. Let's see what happens. So as you can zoom in, you can see this imagery. Um, it's not that perfect, you know. It's not that um, HD, but you can see that there's a, there are there are intricate colors um, surrounding it. And then just there, from that very zoomed in part, you can see another image of the Mandelbrot set. And then as we are zooming in, now take note. Um, the the pictures may 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 show as we are rotating, but actually what we're doing is just clearly zooming in and zooming in. Okay, there's no rotation happening in the camera, but we're just zooming in and zooming in, and we can see the, the, the imagery here. And every time we pause this video, in which I cannot because this is a GIF, um, if you're going to pause this image, you can see a different artistic and um, majestic pictures that you can see here. You can pause and then you'll have another image, pause and let it play in and pause and you have another image. And actually, the first application of this matter brought set is actually in, in fashion and design. Okay, it became a trend when it first uh, came out around 1990s and such. And it became a trend because it doesn't have any particular application at first because, you know, it's it's just, first of all, it's, it's good to see this um, imagery, but it has more deeper meanings. Okay, this Mandelbrot set is, is, is um, collated by Ben Moa Mandelbrot um, by the different, um, from the different um, um, Julia sets. Okay. Um, by by uh by another mathematician um I forgot the first name but uh, his last name is Julia. Okay, so one interesting thing about this Mandelbrot set is a is the iteration. So iteration is just the repetition of things you repeat it you apply it and then you repeat it again. So repeating a process over and over again. So <laughs> the thing like like the thing I, I just said. So recursion uh, is following a rule repeatedly. One example is the Fibonacci numbers. So when you when you can remember the Fibonacci sequence or the formula for that is your f sub n is going to is equal to your f sub 
n minus 1 n be the nth number um, plus f um, sub n minus 2. So to get the nth number, you need to get the previous number and the two previous numbers before it get the sum of it and then you get the, the the next number so for instance we have one one the third one will be one plus one that's two so one one two the fourth one will be the sum of the third and the second that's going to give us three three and then so on five eight and so on so these are the fibonacci numbers it's making use of of the rule repeatedly so that's recursion we can also have the scaling factor that's a distance between two points such as in fractions we're going to talk about more of this um, um if i have time i'm going to teach you how to solve the fractal dimension of objects making use of the box counting technique and the um there's another one um correlation technique i forgot the the correct name but we have the box counting technique which is which is pretty much um the one easy to use um in a, in a very basic language so we have the here recursion and scaling factor so what are the characteristics of a fractal so again um as we have always um talked about here it's about self-similarity okay it's the it's the similar object in a smaller scale but it represents the 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 whole object so as one examines finer and finer details um the magnified area is similar to the original but not really identical to it so two objects are self-similar when okay they can be turned into the same shape by either stretching or shrinking maybe irritating sometimes but uh, usually we just zoom in and then you'll we'll, we'll, we'll see the 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 replica of the of the of the object on a zoom in basis so that's actually enough um, fractional or fractal dimension we um we have said this in the first um, slide that the dimension of a fractal is between the first and the second dimensions so the ratio providing a statistical index of complexity comparing how detail um how detail is in a pattern so that's a fractal pattern it changes with the scale at which it is measured so we're going to talk about this in a future video so practically that's all about fractals for now okay so um fractals again is more found in nature um than in any other parts we can redo a fractal redo an image and make it a fractal it's the the application of fractals are wide and far-reaching it's being used in in cinemas in cgis um and even more than that okay you can you can just maybe one example is you can just take a rock get a rock outside of your house you get you, get, you know you get out and get a get a rock um you try to zoom in on that rock and then the zoom in of that rock will be mountains and stuff bulges you try to zoom in and then you'll see mountains there and more zooming in you will see the the landscape <laughs> okay so if you haven't checked that um yet you try to check that out get a rock out, out of there uh, it doesn't matter what what rock what shape of the rock but you try to zoom in you'll see the landscapes the replica of the landscape itself of the earth itself so those are fractals okay thank you very much for watching hope you had, hope you hope you learned something here and uh, in the next video hopefully i can do and teach you how to how to um how to solve for the fractal dimension of one particular image or a fractal so um, keep in touch don't forget to subscribe and kindly hit like thank you very much